Hi right, folks, Bloom fans here. Right, I'm doing another Lone Wolf video, as you can see by the title. Am I happy to be a Lone Wolf? And the quick answer is that is yes and no. Being a Lone Wolf, you've got to be three, four steps ahead of everybody else. And you cannot just sit around, you cannot just do anything like that. And you just can't do things the same way as everybody else. If you need to collect water, you've got to collect water, and you've got to collect enough water for the rest of that day. So it's a lot harder to be a long wolf, in my opinion, but I'm happy to be a long wolf. I've been in a group before, and I got basically messed over completely, and I'm not putting myself back through that situation. Another thing I recommend is having a small rucksack, no bigger than 50, 50 litres, no bigger, maybe 60 metres, 60 metres, 60 litres max in my opinion, so you can move quickly, and I feel like that, but you've got to be self-aware, and that's one thing I like to be in, I love being self-aware, I love basically, I know it sounds stupid enough, and I do really enjoy looking over my shoulder, because that's what I get used to, yeah, and I just love everything about being a lone wolf, I know I'm in charge of my own destiny, I know I'm in charge of whatever I do, I have to make the decisions and I'm not taking it to a group to make the decisions and not just that I've been also in my workshop it's for me and nobody else and that's one thing I do like as well that I'm not putting kit together just to, so other people can use it so yeah it's just one of the best things in my opinion I know a lot of people say going lone wolves are not good but to me personally they are I've seen so many people become lone wolves and there's nothing wrong with it, they survive, they've done things. I'm still seeing lone wolves to this day where people just do things on their own. Very strictly, but if you think about it, if you sit down and really sit down and think about it, there's more single people in properties than couples or families nowadays. And um yeah, that they're, they're technically classed as lone wolves as well. But oh, as I said to you, I'm I'm really enjoying being a lone wolf. The only thing I don't like being a long wolf is that security at night, because that's probably one of the hardest things you can do. But if you put but if you put yourself in a situation where you don't have to be in that situation, it's fantastic. It's lovely. You can sleep like it's going out of fashion. You can have anything you want. You can cook whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, as long as you're covert and no one can see you and no one can pick up on you. And being a long wolf as well, you can follow people, you can track people, you can know what people are doing. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.